Just take those old records off the shelf. You know I listen to them by myself. I don't remember the rest of the song. But let's go ahead and paint those caddies now. Ah, so Christmas is a few weeks away and I don't feel like going shopping in the mall. I'm not really sure what to get everybody. Oh, hey, I have an idea. I have a ton of scrap trim left over from projects, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a scrap trim gift caddy or a couple of them to use as gift baskets. This would also be a great opportunity for me to participate in a challenge. So the DIY Mommy is having a Christmas themed DIY and decor challenge. I'll be joining a lot of other talented YouTubers, so be sure to find the link above this video, click on there to see the whole playlist of all the people in the challenge or look in the description below and I'll put a link there for you. All right guys, let's turn this scrap into beautiful DIY gift caddies. To get started, make sure you're wearing your appropriate protective equipment. To start this project, I'm cutting down some scrap three quarter inch plywood with my track saw. The base of my gift caddy will be about 8 inches by 18 inches, but you can make your caddy a custom size based on your scraps or your gifts. The sides of my caddy are approximately 8 inches wide by 11 inches tall. You can curve the top of your caddy by tracing the perimeter of a paint can or cut straight angles off the top corners as shown in this diagram. Cut the top edge off using a bandsaw or jigsaw. If you don't have either, you can use a coping saw. Sand off any rough edges from your plywood pieces. Yay, now it's time to use all that fabulous scrap trim. You can use whatever trim you have laying around. There are really no rules. I chose a piece of door trim and some decorative egg and dart trim for this caddy. I'll add links to all the tools and materials I use in the description below this video, or click on the link to my blog post with the detailed materials and building plans. I cut my molding to 18 inches, the same length as the base. For the caddy handle, I happen to have some copper pipe in my scrap pile, but you can use a dowel, old closet rod, or even a branch like I used on this caddy. I'm using a Forstner bit the same width as my handle to drill halfway into the caddy sides. If you need tips for cutting metal pipe, click on the link up there in my video to see how easy it is to cut metal pipes by hand. Now dry fit the handle into the sides. You'll need to measure to make sure that the width of your caddy is the same at the top and the bottom. As you can see, it took a few attempts to get the depth just right. Grab your wood glue because it's time to assemble this bad boy. Run a bead of glue along each end of your base.
To secure the handle, I'll add a bunch of construction adhesive into the hole I drilled into the sides. Here's a freebie tip for you. To prevent half-used tubes of adhesive or caulk from drying out, stick a nail or screw into the tip. Then you can pull it out and reuse it in the near future. Assemble the caddy, and then clean up any glue squeeze out. Flip your caddy onto its side and secure the base into the sides with several brad nails. To secure the scrap trim sides, use more wood glue along the edges of the side pieces. Then set the trim in place and secure with a few more nails. Wipe off any excess glue that spilled out. This next step is truly optional. I like to add a divider in larger caddies. If you want to do the same, cut a piece of one by to fit inside the caddy. Add some wood glue onto the bottom and size the divider and then set it in place. Finish off the caddy build by adding trim to the other side. Secure the trim and divider with finish nails. I know all you detail freaks out there were a bit concerned about that gap in between the trim. I know because I'm also a detail freak. So we'll use a little bit of wood putty to fill in the gap. And while we're at it, I'll fill in any voids in the plywood and nail holes. After the wood putty dries, I'll sand it smooth. So I like working with chalk paint because you don't have to prime the wood first, which is a bonus because I don't have a lot of time. I've got to get these gifts out in the mailbox ASAP. Um, but I think I'm going to use the Magnolia Home paint. I've got two cans of it. Um, I've got this one in a deep teal color and then I also have a gray. So I think I'm going to go ahead and paint them each a different color, see how it turns out. After painting, you can finish your caddy with wax or a polyurethane finish to seal it. Then all you have to do is add the gifts and give them to the gift recipients. You can fill these caddies with just about anything, create a snack basket, or fill it with a candle, an eye mask, a cozy blanket, and a magazine for a relaxation basket. Honestly, I would love to hear your suggestions for the things to add to these gift caddies in the comments below. And until next time, I hope you have a very happy holiday season. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to click that like button below if you liked it. And hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button up there and you'll never miss another DIY video tutorial from Pretty Handy Girl again. Speaking of not missing anything, I'm on all these social channels. Come find me at Pretty Handy Girl.